Welcome to Scone Baking Beyond. Hi, I'm Kathy, and I enjoy making scones, muffins, cookies, and all sorts of delicious baked goodies. As much as I like sweet scones, sometimes I'm in the mood for a savory scone. So today, I'm going to show you how to make my Caprese Pesto Pinwheel Savory Scones. These soft and tender scones are filled with all the flavors of a Caprese salad. They have a wonderful basil pesto inside, mozzarella inside, and sun-dried tomatoes inside. Then they're topped with Parmigiano-Reggiano and mozzarella. They're delicious for a brunch, a light lunch with a salad, or an anytime snack. So let's bake. The first thing we're going to do is start with our pesto. I have one cup of basil. And when you measure your basil, you tightly pack it into that measuring cup. I have two tablespoons of pine nuts. I have two tablespoons of Parmigiano Reggiano. I have two teaspoons of lemon juice. I have two cloves of garlic that have been minced. And I have one quarter teaspoon of salt. Put all that into the food processor. We're going to turn this on until it's fully blended. Now that it's all nice blended, chopped up, if you need to, you can just Take your spatula and scrape down the sides. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, while it's going, I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. I actually don't measure my olive oil when I do this. I just start adding it. And when I get to the consistency I'm looking for, then I stop adding it. But it's about two to three tablespoons. Let's see how we're doing. And that was three tablespoons I just put in there and that looks really good. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set this aside until later, until we're ready to fill our scones. Now that we've made the pesto, it's time to get started on the scones themselves. And the first thing I do is I take my eight tablespoons of butter and I grate it. The reason why I grate the butter is that it gets it just the right size to mix it into the dry ingredients. And I want to keep this butter as cold as I can for as long as I can. Okay, there we go. Now that our butter is all grated, and I've handled this butter and I'm starting to warm it up, I'm going to put it up in the freezer for about five minutes while I get my dry ingredients together and get it chilled again. So while our butter is in the freezer chilling, it's time to get our dry ingredients together. So I have here two cups of unbleached flour, one quarter cup of whole wheat pastry flour. I have two tablespoons of sugar. We still need sugar in this recipe, even if we are making a savory scone, we just don't need as much. So I have two teaspoons of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna whisk these together until it's combined. So now we're gonna add the chilled butter. See, now I don't have to cut the butter in because I have grated it and it's cold and frozen. I can just stir it into the dry ingredients and all I need to do is just make sure that all the butter is coated with the flour mixture. So I'm just going to stir this up until it's all coated, but it's just the right size. Why you want to keep your butter chilled like this and just this size is because before it melts, 
it's going to create some steam and that steam is going to create nice little layers and pockets in your scones. So now that this is all mixed up, I'm going to make a little well, put it off to the side. And now for our wet ingredients. I have one cup of buttermilk and I have one tablespoon of the pesto we made. And I'm going to whisk that together. And now we're going to pour that into our dry ingredients. And I see I have a piece of butter that didn't quite make it in there. Where are you? A couple pieces. We'll just add those in. There we go. So now I'm going to mix this all up until it just comes together. You don't want to over mix it. So we're going to take our flour here. We're going to put it on our board. And now I'm going to mix this into a ball. There we go. And I still have some in the bottom, but that's okay. So now we're going to kind of leave the scone making world a little bit and go into what's called the croissant making world. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this out into a 12 inch by 12 inch square. Okay, let's see how we're doing. It doesn't have to be a perfect square at this time. That's 12 inches by 12 inches. That looks good. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this into thirds and fold this into thirds and then fold it the other direction into thirds. And now I'm going to take this little board, put some flour on it. I'm going to put my dough on this board. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up in the freezer because I've handled this dough. I'm starting to warm up that butter. And again, I want to keep that butter cold. So I'm going to put it up in the freezer for about five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. The dough has been chilling. It's nice and cold. So it's time to roll it out again. So this time we're going to roll it out into another 12 inch by 12 inch square. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Just going to square it up a little bit. See how we're doing. There we go. Okay, it's 12 inches by 12 inches. Just perfect. So now it's time to fill it with those wonderful flavors of a caprese salad. Not only do we have pesto in the dough, now we're going to put pesto into the scone itself. So I have the pesto we made earlier and I'm just going to spread it on our dough and all over our dough here. So that way we get pesto in every bite. I leave about a half inch or so of dough not covered at the very end here, closest to me, the end closest to me. I leave about a half inch. It's time to put on our sun-dried tomatoes. I took some sun-dried tomatoes, they're oil packed, and I chopped them up and then I put them through a strainer and then blot them a little bit with a paper towel to get as much of the oil out of them as I could. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle these around. So now it's time to put on some mozzarella. And I use sliced mozzarella. It just seemed to melt up much nicer than shredded mozzarella. So I have six slices. And if you notice, I'm getting them all at the top. And when I roll this up, they all tend to kind of slide down. So I start them with the top and then eventually they'll kind of slide down a little bit. So to roll this up, we're going to roll it up just like you would a cinnamon roll. We're going to start with this edge and start rolling it. And if you watch, that mozzarella is already starting to move. And you want to roll this as tight as you can. And then as that mozzarella moves, I just kind of move this mozzarella down. There we go. We want to roll this as tight as you can, but it's not a yeast dough, so it won't stretch. It will tear. And if it starts sticking to the, your board here, just take your scraper and scrape that up. But I see we have a sun-dried tomato there, so let's get that back in there. So what I want to do is I want to keep on rolling it and then just kind of pinch the seam here just a little bit. So now I'm going to cut this into 12 one inch pieces. Mm -hmm. 
we're going to put these up. Now the end pieces, I always put the inside down and the cut side up. We're going to put these on a parchment lined baking sheet. So I'm going to brush the tops with one beaten egg just to give them that nice golden brown top. There we go. And the last one here. Yeah. That'll make them nice and golden brown on top. So now I'm going to sprinkle them with about two tablespoons of mozzarella because they just need a little bit more on top. It's time to add our Parmigiano Reggiano and I just grate it on. It's about two tablespoons and I just grate some on. There we go. Oh, don't those look wonderful? We're going to bake these in my preheated oven at 400 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes. Okay, it's been 17 minutes. And they're done. They're nice and golden brown. The first thing I want to do is take these scones off this hot baking sheet so that the bottom of the scones don't cook any more than they already have. So I just take the scones and the parchment paper and slide it right off. We're going to let these sit here for about five minutes and then we're going to put a little more Parmigiano Reggiano on top. Okay, it's been about five minutes and it's time to add a little bit more Parmigiano Reggiano. So we're just going to sprinkle some on. That's probably about two tablespoons, but I don't measure this. I just put on what looks good, tastes good. So put however much you want to put on there. Just going to give it a little top. There we are. Oh, these are going to be so good. There we go. What's nice about these, like I said, they're great for brunch, a light lunch with a salad, or an anytime snack, and they're really good warm. So, it's time to try one. I want to cut this open for you so you can see all the goodness inside. And sometimes it doesn't cut so well because of that, oh, because of that mozzarella. Anyway, there we are. You can see the wonderful pesto and the sun-dried tomatoes, and when I was cutting it, the cheese, that mozzarella is all melted inside. Oh, it's going to be so good. And there's also pesto in the dough. Remember, we added a little pesto to our but buttermilk, and so there's a little pesto in that dough too. So, mm, this is going to be so good. Mmm. Like I said, there's the sun-dried tomatoes. You get those in your bite. Mmm. That pesto made with basil, oh, and all that mozzarella, and then the parmesan on top. These are so good. For the complete recipe, please go to my website, sconebaking.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you for watching.